Okay, in today's video, what we're going to be showing is how to download a free version of RS Logics 500. This will be a starter version for MicroLogix. So, um, this tech note, this is actually from a Rockwell tech note, but it has been updated today, uh, being September 29th, uh, 2018. So, first and foremost, what we'll do is we'll go to ab.com. If you would, you can actually follow along, stop the video when you need to, and you will be successful in what we're doing. So first and foremost, you go to ab.com. It will redirect you to AB Rockwell Automation. Um, you select your, your language. I'm going to select English. Um, so you can feel free to look around in here if you want to, but if you're trying to successfully get the, the download, then you need to follow those steps. Um, go to support. Do not click support. Um, although, because that will take you to a different page, what I want you to do is go to Knowledge Base Support. Okay, when you go to Knowledge Base Support, this will open up a whole new screen. You will, at this point, not be able to, I mean, you're, you're able to search, you're able to do what you want to, but there's limitations to what you need to do. If you do not have an account, I suggest you stop the video right now and make an account. You can log in, you can sign up, I mean, they make it pretty easy. I've had an account for over 10 years. Um, again, this is one of the places I go to get some of the, the at least tips and stuff that I have. Um, so it's nothing but value. So, if but to continue on and get this download, you will need to sign up. So if you haven't, stop the video right now. Sign up. If you have, go ahead and log in. I'm gonna log in, and I'll show you what the it. It pops up a login screen. Um, I'm going to autofill mine. It's going to automatically pop in and it's going to go to a page right here. Now you're in the basically the same page you were, but you're able to actually search and get somewhere. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to type in um, RS Logics 500, or no, I'm sorry, RS Logics uh, Micro, and you actually seen it. Um, micro starter and then hit search or enter either one will, will get you there what you're going to be looking for is this tech note right here which is tech note um, it says where can I find the RS Logics micro, <coughs> micro starter light software this is the 63 uh, 50, uh, six, and what it is, is it's been it was created in 2009 and it has been updated today on which is 9 28 uh, 2018 click this for um and open this it will explain to you in this article how to how to do this again this was updated today um it's viewed for everyone some access levels are you know for rockwell some access levels for other corporations so they have different access access levels for different people we won't get into that we will show that this um, this is the tech that you want to go to and it tells you right here how to download what you want to go to is they have a, um, a PCDC which is their Rockwell um, product compatibility and download center you're going to go to find uh, downloads um, this is what it's going to tell you is basically you want to type in the RS logics uh, 1000 or 1100 you, what I do is make it make it simple I'm going to copy this Okay, I'm going to copy this and hit copy. I'm going to select it and hit copy. You're only going to be able to download version 10. I mean, you can download whatever you want to, but version 10 is the only one that's free. It tells you in this tech note, it's the only one that's free. So with that said, um, we can skip going through all the rest of this. I'm going to actually show it to you, but as, as just to show you that um, they do pay attention to comments. So this was posted... Um, earlier this month and it says the link was broke uh, the product was discontinued please update the article they did update the article today so um, again they do pay attention to this stuff so they do the best they can um, so now we're going to click this link and go to the, to the PCDC so it's going to leave this tech note or you can right click and go open up a new tab um, it depends on how you ever you want to do it um, it's easy right here you just go to the find downloads and you're going to go to paste you're going to paste in or you can type in MicroLogix 1100 hit search 
it's going to pop up. You're going to have one instance. Uh, select that. It's going to pop on what version you want. As the tech note said, you want to uh, select 10.0. Uh, 10.0 is the only version that's free anyway. Um, so again, unless you have an account, which you, if you do, you probably have the software. Um, you, you know, just follow the exactly how it's supposed to be done. So again, you can uh, click right here. You can click download, or you can go to compare. I like to go to compare personally um, because I'm normally looking at several different versions of software. Um, but those, for those who have an account. Um, it's pretty easy and they know about that. Um, they would, it would have multiple versions. You can see exactly what's compatible or not. Um, again, you can change your version if you want to um, right here. If, if you had to a point where you know you, you actually selected the wrong thing. But in our case, th for, this, for what you're doing, you want to select download. You don't want to change anything. Version 10 is what you want. It's going to pop up right here. You're going to select the files. And then this is the important part you need to really, really pay focus to. Okay, so um, then when it comes to here, you're going to select uh, RS Logics Micro Starter Lite without RS Links English. Okay, select that. Come down to Product Add-ons. Select RS Emulate 500. Come down to the next product and select RS Links Classic for Micro Logics. This is going to go to the download center. Then it click download. It's basically adding it to cart. This is going to show you exactly what all the things you're going to download. So hit download now. This will prompt open a screen that actually shows you um, an agreement, right? So basically, you're going to agree that you're going to provide. You know, you're going to do things exactly per they say. Um, this portion you're going to actually go to, you can do manage downloads, or you can do uh, direct downloads. I like to do direct downloads personally. Um, and what I'll do at this point is you want to download each one of these files. So um, you're going to click each one of these and download. So while these are downloading, um, what I would like to do is actually because it's pretty cut and dry what they're going to you just want to download each file um, well, I'm going to stop the video and then we'll pick back up and then continue and I'll actually show you exactly everything that you're going to have to go through so again we're, I'm going to stop right now make sure you download these files once you download these files and once I've downloaded I'm going to start the video back up and we can continue where we're at Okay, so now that you have everything downloaded, and if you were like me, you kind of wondered why it took so long, um, these two right here downloaded quick, right? So um, that's pretty natural. RS Links is a very, very heavy um, software, so that's why this download takes quite a while. Um, it will do on the same as the install. So as these things installed, you should have had a pop-up on the bottom that showed you where they were. Um, then you go to your downloads and open them up. What I've done is made me a folder in my download section um, that houses all these. So what we'll do is we'll close this video out um, and basically as one by one we'll go through and install these on the very next video and that way it'll show you an actual representation of what this system should do um, and what this, this actual um, free software should do to uh, help you improve learning and help you grow. So again, I just wanted to give you the exact way to uh, go about this being that it was updated today. Um, so again, if you're checking this video and you've seen it late, um, no worries. This process again is, is you know, as of 9-28-2018 stands firm. So um, again, you should go ahead and go through this one thing I would like to highlight too is there's an important note in here um, for those who didn't who were, were uh, interested in seeing that there's a, a product uh, security note that right here that says that there's you know basically saying that if there's uh, a receipt for such uh, request from unintended or unauthorized source um, so basically they're saying there's a remote code in here that sometimes can be 
an issue. Um, we'll, we'll address all this as we go through the install videos, so make sure you keep keep up. And um, this will all be, um, you know, through all my channels, so you, you should be able to easily find the, the videos. So again, we'll close this video out and start and pick up with the next video. Um, we'll go ahead and install these. All right, so look forward to seeing you on the next one. And uh, again, thank you for the support.